Hey everybody, as part of our West Virginia coverage, we thought we would, you know, sort of zoom out and talk a little bit about a part of West Virginia and Virginia, uh, depending on especially when you're talking about, you know, known as Mosby's Confederacy. You know, you might be talking about four or five counties or so, of which we are in one right now, um, you know, to talk about Mosby's operation. Who knows, another guy similarly named Mobley might come up as well. So let me get Dennis Fry, who's behind the camera right now, uh, co-founder of the American Battlefield Trust predecessor group, longtime historian, author of, I don't know, 4,600 books. Take it away, Dennis. 4,600 books, Gary? I'll take that. Hey, uh, everybody. Uh, we are in Mosby country, in Jefferson County, West Virginia. Yes, West Virginia. Now, when we think about John Mosby, we don't think about West Virginia. I mean, we don't, John Mosby's not working in, in the Canal Valley. He's not up around Morgantown. Uh, he's not in the central part of the state uh, near Blackwater Falls. Now, there's, that's not Mosby country. But here in what's known as the Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia, Jefferson County, Berkeley County, we got John Mosby here. This is Mosby country. In fact, some of his men, some of the men that serve in the 43rd Virginia Cavalry come out of Jefferson County. And that's why we're here. This particular location, you'll see a, a peculiar looking monument here behind me. It's an obelisk. It's an obelisk. It has the St. Andrew's cross on it. It's got a number on it. I believe it's number 25. This monument, and really it's not a monument. It's more of a, uh, a designation, a designation of a battlefield site. We're on a battlefield site here. Um, this monument is one of 27 similar to it that were placed in Jefferson County, West Virginia by Jefferson County Veterans of the War and principally headed up by Confederate veterans who resided here in Jefferson County. This monument was installed here in 1910, 1910 by living Confederate veterans. Not sons, not daughters, but actual Confederate veterans who resided here in Jefferson County. And boy, Jefferson County hosted so many actions from major battle, the largest battle in West Virginia during the Civil War is the Battle of Harpers Ferry. Nearly 40,000 men engaged in September 1862 as the prelude to Antietam. Now, of course, people will argue with me and say, well, hey, Dennis, that's not the largest battle in West Virginia because West Virginia didn't exist then. And you're right about that. West Virginia doesn't come into existence until June 20, 1863. So obviously, September 1862, prelude to Antietam, is not West Virginia. But we claim this today, the Battle of Harpers Ferry is the largest battle uh, in West Virginia. And you would find a monument like this on Bolivar Heights and on Schoolhouse Ridge, two different monuments associated with the Battle of Harpers Ferry. This monument, this particular monument, deals with the aforesaid John Singleton Mosby, 43rd Virginia Cavalry Battalion. Where we are right now, where Gary and I are, we're down along the Shenandoah River. And we're not right on the river, we're maybe about uh, 400 feet from the river. And we're also right at the edge of Schoolhouse Ridge. We are at the far southern edge of Schoolhouse Ridge where it comes down and dips into the valley of the Shenandoah. Right here was an encampment, April 1865, right at the end of the war. In fact, April the 9th, we all know what happens, Appomattox, back up just a few days. April the 5th, April the 5th, 1865. What happens right here? This is the last battle of the war for John Mosby's 43rd Virginia Cavalry Battalion, right here, right where we are. Now, Mosby himself wasn't here, but Mosby had just designated his final company. He had taken a local guy, a local fellow here named George Baylor, who had been serving in the 12th Virginia Cavalry and basically was very proficient at guerrilla warfare. They, the 12th Virginia Cavalry and uh, the boys out of Jefferson County have been pretty much participating in guerrilla warfare since 1862, even before Mosby came on the scene. So this is an experienced veteran, this, this George Baylor. He makes him company of the final, or captain, pardon me, captain of the final company he organizes, and they decide to go right into action. And they attack right here at a place called Millville, the Loudon Rangers. Now the Loudoun Rangers was a Union Cavalry Regiment, small Cavalry Regiment, that came out of Loudoun County, Virginia. Well, Loudoun County's right across the Shenandoah from here and, and directly south of me. 
uh, and it's today a uh, very, very large populous county in uh, northern Virginia. But Loudoun County was very pro-Confederate, a very strong Confederate county, especially after the firing on Fort Sumter in April of 1861. And so to have these, what they called renegade Yankees coming out of Loudoun County, Virginia, boy, they had been after these people for much of the war. And Mosby's men finally got them right here at Millville, April the 5th. They make a surprise attack about 10 o'clock in the morning. They catch these, these Loudoun Rangers completely off guard. They capture them, and it's over, just like that. There are a couple of Rangers that are killed, not Mosby's boys, but the Loudoun Rangers, but they capture uh, almost 90 men here, uh, including their horses, and that's the end. That is the end of the Loudoun Rangers, and the end of the war is soon to come. I tell you what, you wanna have a really fun experience come here into Jefferson County and try to find these monuments. You could drive all over the county. Now, every once in a while, you'll find a Civil War trails marker associated with these monuments. In fact, we have a Civil War trails marker only uh, about 100 yards from here that talks about this action between Mosby's Rangers and the Loudoun Rangers. But, but you can actually get a driving tour and get the original 1910 book. In fact, it's online. You can download it. It has been reprinted several times, and it's called Military Operations in Jefferson County, West Virginia. Military Operations in Jefferson County, West Virginia. You get that, and you'll find number one, number two, number three, all the way through number 27, corresponding to these monuments, and you can tour Jefferson County and see where all these actions occur. It's a really exciting adventure. Good, good. Although there's some traffic, we're gonna pan over to the direction. We might be able to catch through the trees, Shenandoah River. 